Ah, planning, planning, planning. So you can make a lot of money with planning gain, absolutely, but it can also be quite frustrating. So I have a house um, with a very, very large side garden. So we put in for planning for a separate house, um, a lovely three bed detached house. And honestly, from my point of view, um, looking at the street scene, it would make the nicest house. However, the council came back and said, no, uh, we because there isn't precedent for a separate detached house, we want it attached to the side of your house. Okay. So it's gone down from a three bed to a two bed. And they have verbally said that they're, they're pretty sure they would approve it. So we're pretty sure we'll get approval for it because there's been lots of precedent on that. And it's gone back in today. So downside... It's taking some time, but I own the land anyway, no big deal. Upside, we're almost certainly going to get planning, and I'll keep you updated, of course. Upside, basically the land is free to me because I already own it. I actually own the property unencumbered, so that means I've got no mortgage on it. So what happens, as soon as we get planning, I legally split title, and then um, the house on the side gets built. So the how the land will end up being worth about 80 grand, whereas at the moment it's kind of worth not very much at all. So, you know. It's not something you sniff at, is it? So when you have a portfolio ready, one of the really important things to do is go back and go, well, what can I improve in my portfolio? I don't just sit there and go, right, that's great. I go, what square footage have I got? Can I have more square footage? Can I have, you know, more rental income per square foot? And do whole measurements like that. So we shall see. But there you go. There's the middle part of planning.